my name is Zaria Smith and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> in today's video we're going to be talking about reality TV and how fake it is. <coughs> and Tana Mosher basically talks about how reality TV is mostly fabricated and they put people into these conditions to where they kind of freak out so that it fights happen. That's what a reality show is. It's filming people for 80 hours and then turning that 80 hours of footage into a 30 minute episode. MTV, who is obviously putting the money into doing all of this, wants to make it the most dramatic, interesting 30 minutes they possibly can. So the first ever like reality TV show was actually game shows that were popularized in the 50s. And game shows, as you guys know, are just where contestants come on a TV show that's being filmed in front of a studio audience and they win prizes or they do whatever. This is a Jeopardy type of content or what are, I guess, what's the, the price is right? <laughs> I don't watch game shows. And then you have shows like the Kardashians or Jersey Shore, you know, and these shows are what we call as reality TV. Now, I can make a whole video just with the Kardashians because I believe Kris Jenner is a true mastermind. <laughs> That's a whole other video. Um, but we're going to talk about generally just like how not real reality TV is. So as you guys know, um, in reality TV, they do fabricate a lot of fights, a lot of conversations, and they kind of like prompt it to be like that, you know? Hey! How y'all doing? Which is dumb. <laughs> so, I'm gonna talk about Jersey Shore now because Jersey Shore, Shore was honestly my first introduction to reality TV at a very young age. So, the first episode of Jersey Shore came out in 2009 and I watched it with my sister. We were obsessed. I love Snooki and Jay Wow. Their friendship was unmatched. And there was a lot of things that that show was on, which cracked mostly. <laughs> you have the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the Real Housewives of literally every single city ever. Oh, ah, the ghetto! The ghetto! Why are there so many? I don't know. I think they're all the same, generally. These shows are basically meant to make the person they're celebrities, they end up getting, you know, brand deals, they end up, you know, being Instagram people, like Khloe Kardashian, for example, she does a lot of fitness stuff on her Instagram now, and she gets a lot of money for that. I promise I'm wearing a shirt, I'm gonna pull it up, because I don't want y'all thinking that, like, I'm just naked. <laughs> but, you know, these shows are kind of, like, very prevalent in the 2000s, especially the 2010s, very, very prevalent in the media. And we watched this and we were all just kind of took it in like, yeah, this is how life is for these people. Hey guys, my diamond earring came up in the ocean. My diamond earring's gone. And there's people that are dying. And that's what you want because if, in reality, if you were to watch someone's life every single day, it would be like watching, I don't want to call it any YouTube vloggers that are boring. So I'm just going to say, imagine a really, really boring YouTube vlogger where they talk about how they went to the store or how they bought a new camera. It's just boring. No one wants to watch that. They want to watch the fights. They want to see the fanfare. They want to see all this crazy stuff because we want to be entertained. We don't just want to watch a slice of life thing, you know. So this is now where I go into Tana Mojo. Now, if you guys didn't watch her hour-long video, because I literally just called my sister. She asked me to explain it to her because she hates watching videos that long. She And in her video, Tana Mojo talks about how like she was on drugs. She was, you know, not being herself, you know. And as someone who knows a lot about depression, um, she was suffering from a lot of depression where she just didn't care if she lived or died, which is horrible and it sucks that any person can feel like that. But when you're under the pressure of so much, like having your entire house be like a set 24 seven, it like gets to you. So she had to buy a separate apartment. As I say, as a resident Tana Mojo fan, I do care about her a lot and I do care about her well-being. And most reality TV shows aren't real. So I hope that you guys, you know, I hope you liked the video. <laughs> if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or on Twitter. It is Zaria Smith underscore and that's the video.
Into myself What a wonderful world